why do people procrastinate? That's probably the most difficult question to answer in the history of human existence because procrastination is something that everyone does. I don't care who you are, everyone procrastinates. It is just something you can't get away from about. Believe it or not, I procrastinate because of stress. Like I'll get a lot of work and it'll just keep piling up and I'll have to do a whole bunch of different things and I'll get so stressed out over how much I have to do that I'll just stop and do something else. It's, it's really just a lie you tell yourself to trick yourself into thinking you have more time to do something than you, than you don't. And it's the biggest lie in the world because everyone tells it to themselves every single day. And I think really you have to confront that and really say, yourself, say to yourself, you, you don't have that much time to do this. You have to actually get stuff done in an expedient manner. You can't lollygag because if you do, it's always, always, always going to bite you in the butt later on. Otherwise, it's either the difficulty of material that will stress me out. It could be just that it's boring. But usually, I procrastinate because of stress. There are a lot of ways uh, I procrastinate. Uh, most notably, I go on the internet, uh, particularly browsing sites like Tumblr, Facebook, uh, reading web comics, sometimes I'll listen, listen to music. I've even written some pieces in procrastination. How do I procrastinate? Procrastination is really, really easy to do, and it's most often done by me going to the student workspace. And it sounds counterintuitive. Like, it sounds like a place named the student workspace would be a great place to go and get work done for students. But when a lot of your friends hang out there, it becomes a place that's no longer conducive to getting work done. How do I procrastinate? Um, usually I end up just talking to my friends, watching YouTube videos with them, watching YouTube videos myself, playing games. So really, what procrastination to me partially is is going to a spot that you're too comfortable in. If you're too comfortable in a spot, you're gonna relax there. That's just what it's just what people do. One time, I even I even uh, cleaned my entire room to avoid writing a paper. I <laughs> read books, watch movies, play video games. There's there's just a lot of things, a lot of ways to uh, procrastinate and avoid doing work. Rolling on Facebook, Tumblr. It gets really bad sometimes. But usually I'm not that bad about it, but when I am, I just procrastinate and make sure it lasts a while, like League. If you go into your room, you're more likely to relax in your room because that's a place where you sleep, that's a place where you eat, that's a place where you, I don't know, watch TV if you have a TV in there, that's a place where you hang out with friends. If you're in a spot that you're too comfortable in, that's when procrastination is a real, real danger. Ways to prevent procrastination. Number one, try to stay away from the student workspace if all of your friends hang out there. Because if all of your friends hang out there, all you're going to do is hang out with your friends and you're never ever going to get anything done. Uh, there are a couple of things I do. I'm not very good at avoiding procrastination. But I do do things like there are, particularly there are websites that will block website other websites for you so you can go on and you can block things like Tumblr, Facebook. Solutions, I make a lot of lists. Um, I have a list of assignments for each class. I put it up on a dry erase calendar. Um, another thing that helps is to just put on headphones and just drown everything else out with music and so that I can focus solely on the work in hand and the music. The music isn't that distracting. Um, Solution number two, keep yourself organized. Keep a, a detailed calendar of all of your assignments for the month and then keep a separate list of all the assignments you have due for the week. Because if you're keeping track of all of these things, you're way less likely to procrastinate since you're always looking at it. But usually what I do is, and it sounds kind of cliche, but I just do it. 
as soon as I'm assigned it, I usually go back to my room and do it. You can also work set up a specific spot for you to work. So you have a spot for play and a spot for work, and if you don't mix them, whenever you go into your spot for work, you know, okay, I gotta get ready to work here. This is serious business. Time to just get going. Otherwise, I use a type of reward system, per se. Like, I can do this assignment, and then I'll watch, like, maybe one YouTube video. Or, like, scroll for, like, this amount of time on Tumblr or something. And then I'll do a little bit more, or just, like, pace myself and look forward to something after I'm done. And solution number three, just quit video games. They're bad for you. They're bad for, I mean, they're just, they're just bad for your grades. <laughs> There's no way around it.